Hi everyone, in this video we're going to cover uh, LLDB. Uh, it's, uh, it's very similar to GDB on Mac. Uh, some commands are very similar, so if you know already GDB, it's probably going to be easy for you. Uh, I'm going to assume that uh, you don't know GDB, uh, so we're just going to start from the start. So basically, why do we need L LLDB? Uh, it's basically a debugger uh, to debug the application, <coughs> to see its internal state, to print the variables, you know, when you have some bugs. It's uh, very useful. Okay, so let's start it. So, okay, so we have LLDB here. Okay, uh, here we have a simple application. Or a, uh, it's a simple loop that basically increments a counter every time and calls two functions, say hello and say bye. Uh, and every time it slips for like, at least one second. Uh, Okay, so in order for us to actually debug this application, we should uh, compile our uh, our file with the dash j flag. What the flag actually means, means that include the debug information. Um, that way we can actually debug it. All right, here we go. That's what generated this uh, directory. It's debug symbols. Um, okay. So now let's see, let's see if our application runs. Uh, okay, we see our output. Uh, now let's start uh, our debugger. Um, so what we have to do in order to debug our application is to type LLDB and then type uh, our application name. Uh, I mean the full path to application. Also, if uh, your application takes some arguments, you can just type this and then you can put your arguments in there for example like you know a b <coughs> okay let's see there we go so to see the code the entry point uh, we can type this command called list uh, it will show us basically the application will enter here right and it will go like line by line um, so let me show you the simplest possible way to put a breakpoint um, this is actually alias in LGB, which actually uses the GGB command. Uh, this would also work in GGB. Uh, basically, let's say we want to stop at uh, line 17, right? Here we go, put a breakpoint at line 17. Uh, one way to list the breakpoints. Uh, let me see, breakpoint list. Here you go, that will actually list all our breakpoints. And here we have only one breakpoint. Um, Let's see, okay, so let's run our application. Okay, you see we right away stop in our breakpoint, say hello. Um, so in order for us to step in inside of that, um, actually let's first go through line by line, right? So in order to go to the next line, we can type next. <laughs> see what the arrow start pointing to a different line. Uh, we can also type N instead of next. Um, <clears throat> see the next line. Let's see. Right, this is the next iteration. The other thing we can do, we can print uh, our count, our variable. Oh, sorry. Just done too much Python recently. <laughs> Here you go. Um, yeah, our, our our variable count has uh, number like you know number one in it. If we go to the next, print count again. That will be number two, right? So you can make it twice. Um, so the other command you probably want to learn is how to step inside of the function. So we can type step. Here we go. We go inside our function. Here we can go next. Uh, uh, next. Now let's let me show you some one more thing. Um, let's go next to the by. Um, so here again we can step in into the into the this function either by typing step or by just typing s um, and let's say if this this function was like uh, had a long body right for example had like 50 lines or something and you already done your job here let's say you like only debug needed to debug five lines and then you need to go through all this 45 lines you know you don't want to keep typing next 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 uh, what you can do you can say finish that would basically say, okay, I'm done with the scope. Let me go out. <clears throat> okay. 
Um, all right, so we go to the next loop. Let's see. So the other thing we can do is continue. Uh, let's basically say, okay, continue execution till the next breakpoint. I mean, in this case, it's say hello uh, because you put a breakpoint on line 17. Let's type continue again. Let's see. Boom. Get to the next one. Um, okay, let's. Uh, so one way to oh, break uh, breakpoint list. Let's list it. Uh, so we can also set the breakpoint a little bit differently by using the LLDB explicit syntax. You probably want to know it um, because you can do like way more things with it than by just using regular alias. That was just like that's what we used before, right? Um, <coughs> This is actually, as I mentioned, this is just alias to make it easier for people who come from GDB to use LLDB. Uh, but the proper way to use it is, the more explicit way to use it, the breakpoints, is by doing something like this. Uh, breakpoint, uh, it's a basic noun, breakpoint. Uh, there's some other nouns that we go through, some different commands. So basically what you do, breakpoint, set, um, file, main.cc, uh, there's a line. Um, let's say we want to stop at 19 right okay now let's see up oh, break uh, point list right okay we have our new breakpoint <clears throat> let me just delete this previous one uh i don't want that the breakpoint earlier one that we so the way to delete the breakpoints i can say uh, Delete, breakpoint delete one. There we go. Uh, now, now we have only one breakpoint. Okay. Mm. Let's uh, let's continue application. There you go. So you see it stopped again on the breakpoint that we specified earlier. Uh, I'll show you how we did it again, so you remember. Here we go. We set the file and line cc. So the reason I said that you should be familiar with the explicit. Uh, syntax is because one thing you can do is basically say um, something like this let's say breakpoint set name and say hello basically you want to say like I want to stop at this function um, uh, most likely the, that what will happen is actually the breakpoint will be in the entry point of that function so we'll go inside of the function that's where it will stop so let's set it. Okay, now let's continue. Uh, you can just type C. Here we go. You see, it went through the whole loop and it got into this function again. Okay, so let's get out of this function. Okay. Um, so now the other thing I wanted to show you is the watch command. Um, so let's say we want to watch uh, how the count changes every time. So we can say watch uh, set var count. We want to see like every time this value changes. Uh, like you know if the new value gets assigned to count we want to see uh, what is the value um, there you go so we set a watch point uh, okay so now let's see continue and we see where's our value oh we, we have a breakpoint here right so right now we have no watch outputting I think the next one we will see Boom, you see, uh, we just executed this whole loop. Uh, the count value got changed and it tells us right away, okay, you, you, the watch point got hit. Um, let me show you one more uh, cool thing. So let me just remove, let me see what's the, what the break point list, how many break points we have right now. Uh, yeah, let me remove this third one. Okay, breakpoint list. So, I have only one breakpoint right now. Okay, so the other thing we can do is to let's say we want to watch our variable only when it changes, um, like our count value, when it change, like gets some specific value. Let's say 8, right? That's the only time we want to see that value. What we can do, we can do something like this. Uh, count let's say eight what I'm trying to say is like we don't like you know the count will be changed many times right and let's say in your program uh, some bug happens when 
that value like has specific value like that that variable has specific value and that's the value you want to see right uh, so what you can do you can say like watch modify and the statement you can say like all right i want to see i want to stop when this value will have when this variable will have value eight um, so now let's continue uh, continue one more time mm. here you go now the values got eight so you see we continue three times and we only stop when the value got uh, to eight Okay, um, I think I went through the basic stuff. Uh, I think in the next video I can go further into more advanced stuff. Alright, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.